Now, functions do another really cool thing, and that is they can return values. So not only can they take inputs, but they can also return outputs. So let's just make a simple function that says get big string. It doesn't take any inputs. We're just going to put empty parentheses there. When I say empty, it's a left parenthesis and a right parenthesis. I say empty because there's nothing inside here. There's no parameters, right? And we're going to do this magical other keyword called return. And just put a space next to it. Whatever you put here, it'll return. So I'm going to copy pasta coding here, make a really big string. And we're just going to invoke it. Okay? And just watch what happens. So it returns a value, but we don't see anything on the screen. There's no variables for us to look if we were to set a, a breakpoint and debug it, right? There's not really anything to see here. So what we need to do is capture that somewhere. And there's two ways you can do it. The first is obviously good old print. Whatever this function returns, he'll print out, right? Because print takes variables, it takes types, and it takes return values, which are just a form of variable, right? So it'll print out that big string. But what if we wanted to store that, right? We could store it there. It's not a minus, it's an equal, Jesse. What are you doing? And we can make multiple of these things. So we could say A, B, and C are all three different strings now, now that we've got really big strings. Then we could concatenate them together. So what happens when you print them out? You get a really, really big string. And that's cool because these three independent variables will capture or store the return value from the function. And you can name these whatever you want, you know, any name, doesn't matter. And that's cool because these functions, it's the same function name called three times, but look at what it does. It, it does all this work. And as your functions get larger and larger, they do more work, but you still have the same name that references all that work. So really, really powerful stuff. Return values are the second most cool thing about functions. They take inputs, they can return values.